right. So if we look at the muscular system only, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little key. Some of the muscles are incredibly easy to find uh, without, without moving anything. They're superficial muscles. The ones that you have to dig for are, deep, are your deep muscles. So I'm going to star them, all right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Deep muscles, all right? Rookie. Right, you'll have to remove, or you have to cut into, in order to see. <coughs> Sorry, Max. Uh, yeah. I'm good. And by Max, I meant Sam. Yeah. All right. So masseter is good. That one you can see with the naked eye without cutting. So is the pec major. So is the external obliques. These three ab muscles, you're going to have to do something called an abdominal window. So you should start all of those. Right. If you are labeling your picture and you feel a big photo journal and you yeah. don't have anything cut into, you're labeling the wrong thing for those three. Biceps brachii, you'll also have to cut into, probably the pec. Huh? Um, the rectus femoris, you'll have to cut to see. Triceps is good. Trapezius is good. Um, lats, you can see. Gluteus maximum, you can see, but not the medius. And then the biceps femoris is probably the biggest muscle on your page. Anyway, you that you'll notice. These last three, you'll all have to cut through the biceps femoris in order to see them. All right? So it's about half and half. Half of them you can literally see right now if I just show you how to identify them and we point to them. And then the other half will have to do some cutting. So I'm going to show you all the superficial ones first. All right. So Emily, if you want to come over here and like look over my shoulder. All right. I'm going to give this back to Sam, and then you guys will have to just tell me where we're at, okay? So I'm going to start with the masseter. Let's we'll start with the first one on your list. The masseter is probably the easiest one. Is it showing up on there? Okay. The masseter is the easiest one because it's the only one you guys have to identify in the face. By the way, I chose uh, Lexi and Tommy's pig just because I can see the striations a little bit better on their pig. Um, now, the masseter is this big cheek muscle right here. So as long as you have the cheek um, cut away here, the, this muscle that goes across the cheek is your masseter. All right, so that's what you want to get a picture of for that one. So just identify that one on your pig and then take a photo. That's the masseter. What? Yes, just uh, why don't you wait till I'm done and then we can get pictures of theirs, okay? All right, the next one, if I'm going down your list. Cheek. Cheek. You don't have the cheek even cut open. That's probably why I didn't pick yours. <laughs> All right, the next one that we're going to do is the, the pec major. The what? The pectoralis major. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so you can kind of get an idea of where I'm looking. Obviously, in order to see the pec, you've got to see the inside, their, their chest muscles. So you're going to have to open up his arm a little bit. And the pec is really awesome because it fans across the chest there. Right? You can actually see the striations on it. All right, so this is all pec right here. That's the pec major muscle. That one's pretty easy to identify as well. All right. Remember, you can share pictures if you don't have a really good, if you don't have a good pig or something like that, you can always share. Um, Allie, could you do me a favor? Could you hit the first light switch? I think it's the first one. Um, nope, the second one. Yeah, that one. That one's good. All right. All right, now, I was going to show you the biceps, but I want to do all the superficial ones first. So the next one is the external obliques. Oh, that one's really easy, right? External obliques are your ab muscles, your outer ab muscles. You can literally, as long as you find the end of the rib cage, right? The ribs actually go all the way down here. Do you feel that? Yeah. If you're touching them? Um, all the way up to about halfway up your ribs, you're pretty much going to have your external oblique. So this is all external oblique right here. Um, what I recommend, though, is feel on the inside of the ribs. Because if you are too far back, you're going to be doing latissimus dorsi muscles. So if you feel where the ribs end, right here, I can feel floating ribs. Yeah. These muscles right here are external obliques. Now, if your pig is really, really good, you might see striations. I cannot see striations super well on this pig. Um, and so I would just go based on layering for this one. All right? 
this this muscle right here is external oblique. I can actually see some of it's cut away right here. Um, so that's probably going to be getting into the internal oblique. But we'll be identifying that in a second. External obliques are just down by, find your umbilical cord pretty much, right to the right and left of it is external oblique. All right. The next one on our list is triceps brachii. Triceps is really easy. All right. Biceps is going to be in here when we actually get to it, right? We did pec. Triceps is, are these muscles on the back of the arm. Let me see if I can get a... You can actually see the heads even uh, under the under the light here a little bit. Okay, if I focus. So right here you can see one of the tricep heads. There's another tricep head right there. And the third tricep head is going to be coming back. Oh, no, actually it's right there. You can see the line. So one, two, three. That's why you call it your triceps brachii because of the three uh, origins. But it's just, it's, it's way bigger than the bicep. And that makes sense because of the way that pigs walk, right? They're walking and they're always working their triceps, essentially. All right. Then the next one is the trapezius. Now, this is another reason why I picked this pig over, uh, over uh, Morgan's group over there, because the trapezius was a little bit better on this one. Trapezius is hard to identify, so. Remember, trapezius is that diamond-shaped muscle on the, that goes up your neck, but also goes down the top of your back. So it's sometimes hard to see the striations. Hold on, let me see. Okay, I'm going to show you what part of the problem is. Do you see all this, this white stuff that's sitting on top of the muscle? No. That's all aponeurosis, the stuff that we labeled um, in your, on your uh, fetal pig photo journals. In order to see the striations, you'd want to actually get rid of that if you can. It's almost like skinning the, this fascial tissue off of it. Wait, what do I do this at? Like right below the ear? I can, you start to see it a little bit better. Um, I can see the striations a little bit here. I can definitely see on this one, the outside of that triangle. Oh, sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing here. Um, do you guys see how the triangle, how this muscle's coming down this way? This is the bottom of the, of the triangle, and the striations do come this way, and then they're gonna be going that way. I have a lot of connective tissue covering it up, so it's hard to see that, but you can kind of feel it with your fingers. You should be able to feel it. And if you can't, um, you can definitely see the striations right here where they're cut. You can see those really well. Um, so you might want to try getting rid of some of this connective tissue. The only downside is uh, sometimes you could kind of destroy the muscle in the process. So I try not to peel away too much if I don't have to. This one you're more going to be identifying based on location than the ability to see the striations. Find behind the back of the, the neck and the muscle that's going to be on the top of the back there is going to be the spinal trapezius, the tr spinal trapezius muscle, which is what you call it in, on the fetal pig. That's okay. All right, do we have any other? We had some, a couple other superficial ones, right? Is this, is this right? Hold on one second. Let me make it through this and I'll come around and help everyone once I'm done demoing, okay? Lats. Yeah, lats. Okay. Lats are really easy. The problem is the lats are not very well developed. So we did identify, if I zoom out here for all of you, we identified the external obliques here inside of the ribs. Pretty much the lower back muscles past the ribs are going to be your lats. They're not well developed at all because the pig hasn't really worked <laughs> its back muscles. I can see the muscle a little bit thicker here. I can see some muscular tissue, but I can't see striations very well. So again, that's going to be more based on its location. If you know that these are obliques, um, then these are going to be latissimus dorsi muscles, more on the back of your pig. Glutes. You could probably label your obliques and your lats at the same time. And then glutes is next, yeah? Yeah. What is lats? Your lats. Oh, nice. This pig has good glutes. All right. So the layering of the butt muscle here is really nice, too. So um, this whole leg muscle we're going to talk about in a second, this is all biceps femoris. The entire side of the leg on a pig is their biceps femoris, which is nuts, because remember that's just one of our big hamstrings, one of the three. 
We also have the semitendinosus and semimembranosus. But for the pig, it's biceps femoris along the entire uh, side. In order to see the gluteus maximus, um, you might also have to kind of feel for where uh, the bicep femoris ends. I can feel a ridge right here, uh, right back behind the tail. Um, the bicep femoris would be this muscle right here. Again, it's hard to see the striations because all of the fetal pig muscles are really underdeveloped. The gluteus medius will be under this. This is, sorry, this is the gluteus maximus. Was I saying biceps femoris on accident? Yeah. yeah, this is biceps femoris. The gluteus maximus is back here. Sorry about that. And then we just had biceps femoris, which I already identified. You could probably get both of those in one picture, folks. So this muscle right here is biceps femoris. All right, this whole muscle. This muscle back here behind the tail. And if I labeled them on the lab practical, I would be really, really specific about it. I'm not gonna label the gluteus maximus like here right on the dividing line where it would get confusing. I'd label the gluteus maximus back here. I'd label the biceps femoris here. And what I'd probably do is I'd have it fanned open, which is what I'm gonna show you um, in a little bit. Actually, I'll start with that. I'll start with that and then we'll go back up and look at the biceps brachii. Okay, we're gonna do the last three on your checklist. We're gonna do your calf muscle, and we're also gonna do your semitendinosus and membranosus. Now, watch me closely. Don't do anything, just watch what I'm doing. On your leg, you have to create, uh, uh, you actually have to split this open, so you're gonna cut, don't cut too deep. You're gonna make an incision going down the biceps femoris, and we're gonna actually open this up, almost like the, a, a book, All right? I'm gonna peel this open. Okay, I did cut, I cut a little bit deep here. I didn't wanna cut this, but that's okay. I want this to stay together. Okay, is everyone looking? Look up at the, look up at the board for me, okay? Look up at the board for me, Kendra. Okay, just follow along with me for a second. If you cut it correctly, um, hopefully you won't be cutting into this right here <laughs> because this muscle right here is actually a gluteus medius and I didn't want to cut through it. Um, so that's your gluteus medius. Now, there's a couple other things. Okay, take a look at how this leg is oriented. This right here is the foot of the pig. This whole thing is the foot, even though, right, its hoof is just down here, technically, um, this entire thing is the foot. So what would you say is this muscle right here? If this is your foot, what? Yes, this big muscle right here is the gastrocnemius. All right. Now, before you, before you cut it open, I'm going to give you some time. So that's the gastrocnemius. And then you'll notice if you cut it open correctly, you will see the femoral artery right here. The femoral artery is really, really awesome because it helps you identify the difference between the semitendinosus and the semimembranosus. There are two muscles underneath. Okay, let me see if I can open it up a little bit more and then I'll zoom in for you. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay, if you find the if you find the femoral artery, the muscle that actually lies, they're both underneath it, but the muscle that's on top, remember the T, top, is the semitendinosus, and the muscle that lies right below the femoral artery is the semimembranosus, all right? So tendinosus top, membranosus bottom, which is also helpful because membranosus has a B in it. So that's how you distinguish between the two. If you, uh, if I zoomed in a little bit more, you'd actually see, do you see how the muscles split there? That's how you know they're, that they're different muscles. So that's the semimembranosus, or sorry, tendinosus, and right down here is the membranosus. And those are all the muscles, the deep muscles down here. We have the gluteus medius, the gastrocnemius, tendinosus, and membranosus. And, and on this picture, if you took a picture like this, you could label the flaps. What muscle is that again? Biceps femoris. Biceps femoris. Very good. That's your biceps femoris. 
I'm going to close that back up. <laughs> Do you want me to leave it open? Yeah, can we take a picture? Sure. That's fine. We are going to do the biceps brachii, I think, next. Is that the next on the list? I just want to see. The abdominal. Yeah, we're going to do the, those two. Oh, there was one other leg muscle we have to do. Okay, are you ready? Okay. There's one other leg muscle we have to do, and that was the, that's your quad muscle. In order to see that, you got to go to the inside of the leg. Let me zoom out. All right. So you're flipping the leg over now, go to the inside. And what you really have to do is, you could probably do this best with a probe. Did I get rid of my probe somewhere? Can I steal a probe from someone? No. The blunt tip probe? You want a fine tip one? Like this? Yeah. I don't know what I did with the, did I give, oh, did, oh I put it over there. Here you go. You have two of them. If you kind of clear away the, the fascia again, you can see the rectus. So I'm kind of getting rid of some of this gross connective tissue that's on there. All right, and if I zoom in, you can see it a little bit better. This muscle right here, this muscle right here is the rectus femoris. All right, you can feel it, it's really thick. All right, that's the quad muscle. And that makes sense because it looks like it's on the top of their thigh too. Yep. Yeah. Um, I put in there that you'd have to cut to see it because sometimes if you cut it open, you can actually see the division, but you really don't have to cut if you get rid of the connective tissue better. So, all right. Okay, let's do the biceps. Biceps brachii. I'm going to zoom out again so you guys can follow along. All right. Okay, so if I'm doing biceps brachii, you got to go on the upper arm. So I want you to make sure, some people make the mistake of dissecting right here, right? That's not where your bicep's going to be, that's your forearm. So you really have to break through the pectoralis major, which is why we did the pecs first, your superficial muscle just in case I ruin these pecs, All right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little incision with a scalpel through the pec muscle up here. Where are we now? <laughs> hey there, Paige, how you doing? I uh, know, hold on. All right, now, if I open it up, you can actually see the bicep muscle. Do you all see the bicep muscle right there? You gotta cut through the pec in order to see it. Cut through the pec and it's gonna be on the upper arm. It's the biggest muscle on your upper arm. Right there. Again, if you can't get good pictures, come and take pictures from uh, Tommy and Lexi's pig in a, in a little bit, okay? It doesn't really matter where you get pictures from as long as you know what you're studying. See that bicep? Oh yeah. What the heck? Right there. I don't understand what you're doing. What are we on? Bicep. I can send them to you. Bicep, right? Yep, biceps brachii. Don't just put biceps, we have biceps femoris. This is one of those things where please don't start doing it until you uh, watch me do it first. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so we're going to look at the ab muscles, folks. Can you guys remind me, what ab muscle is this? The outermost one. No, that's the innermost. It's the external obliques, right? The external obliques. Now we have to cut something, it's called an abdominal window. So before you guys start this, watch what I'm doing. Find the umbilical cord, all right? You are gonna go right to the left or right of the umbilical cord, depending on what side of the pig you skinned. So don't do this yet but you are going to create a window. So that means that by the umbilical cord, you're gonna cut away. So I'm gonna cut, watch how I'm doing this. I'm gonna make a little incision going that way. And then I'm gonna go down for the side of my window. And I'm going back this way. The part that's nearest my umbilical cord is gonna be my hinge, all right? So I should be able to open and close this window if you do it correctly. All right, now, the best way to do this is with a probe. 
You're gonna take the window then, and you're gonna try opening it up. Try digging under the muscle you just cut, and lifting it. And then you can also grab it with your finger once you have enough, and you'll start to peel that away. All right, just like this. All right. Now, if I zoom in, we might be able to see some striations together, and we'll see what muscle we are, is currently visible. All right, hold on now. Um, it's kind of hard to see. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut all the way through. And that's okay, because I can start peeling layers back. Sometimes it's hard to see the striations. So if you just cut all the way through to the organs, you can peel layers back. We're going to be cutting into the, uh, to see the organs in a couple weeks anyway. Ooh, that looks like, ooh, I, okay. This is good. All right. We're almost there. Okay, awesome. So you'll notice I'm like in by the organs now. But in order to see the different layers, sorry. You guys need to tell me if it's like way off because I can't like look at the pig and focus at the same time. All right, if I start to peel back, if I start to peel back these layers, watch what I'm doing. You'll see the striations. Tell me what muscle this is, right? Here, what muscle is this? It is rectus abdominis. How do you know that, Anthony? Yeah, look at they're going up and down, right? Rectus goes up and down, which means I actually see only a tiny bit of transversus, and it's on the piece that I've peeled back. Do you guys see these striations going left to right a little bit over there? Yeah. Um, the, see, the thing with transversus is it's easier to identify the further away from the center you go, so it's always going to be way on the outside. But you can see just a little... If I focus one more time. Yeah, okay. Do you see, right, right here, there's only a little bit of muscle tissue right there. But if you look closely, the striations are going left to right, whereas these striations are going up and down. Does everyone see that? Yeah. Okay, so this, this right here is transversus abdominis because it's going across the belly. This is rectus abdominis because it's going up and down. And do we have internal obliques? I'm sure we do. If I peel back another layer. I don't know if I can peel this anymore. This must be internal obliques on here, but I can't really see the striations. I don't know if it's just folded, but I guess I can kind of see that. Do you kind of see how it's folded a little weird, but how they would make, they would go up and make like a teepee? kind of hard to see. This one's harder. The internal obliques are harder. Although, even if I didn't, even if you couldn't see the striations on this one, um, you know that it's not external obliques, right? Because I peeled that away. This is external obliques, right? If that's external, this has to be internal. And then if I go back again, on the opposite side, we could definitely see the striations for rectus, and we could certainly see the striations going across for transversus. So you're going to have multiple layers to that abdominal window in order to see all these muscles. This is the hardest part. The abs are the hardest part always. Okay? I think I've got I am essentially, I think I'm done.